Got him. If I catch one there, it's gonna be problems. I got one. Get out of there. What is up, Mavericks? Welcome back to another very exciting video here with my man here, Coleslaw, the snag and camera guy. Um, showed you guys a couple weeks ago that you can actually take your used soft plastic fishing lures, melt them down, shoot them into other injection molds, and make some pretty badass baits. Well, guess what? Look where we're at today. We're at the old shithole Walmart. And we're gonna go in here. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna get the worst fishing lures, cheapest fishing lures, all the crappiest stuff that they have there, and we're gonna take them back and we're gonna melt them down into some baits that'll actually work. I'm kinda interested to see what kind of terrible baits there are here. There wasn't very many last time. Everything's so picked over because the coronavirus stuff, but uh, we're gonna get headed inside. Also, MF for the day is listed right down there below. If you guys wanna be the MF for the day and have your comment featured, it's very simple. You just gotta be a subscriber and drop a comment down below. That's it. We're actually gonna do something a little bit different today. I haven't had a chance to get back to all the comments because you guys have been blowing the comments up lately. So we're just gonna kinda go through some of the comments later in the video and answer some of those guys. And uh, I don't know, pick the best and worst comments and maybe talk some trash to you guys. We'll see. Still no terminal tackle. All right, if you guys can't understand me because I got the mask on, sorry. Apparently there's a damn nationwide Walmart mask requirement thing. But I think Cole will get this. Is this yours? Cole's got his freaking sweet tea in a cart over here. Left it here last night when he was here. I think the biggest thing is gonna be we gotta get a lot of stuff because it kind of takes a lot of plastics to melt down to make more plastics. We wanna make a decent amount so we can go catch fish on them. I'm kind of thinking like dollar bin stuff, coleslaw. Looks like we got some $2 stuff, some crappie jigs. We need something really, really stupid. We can't use these because even though that's a ridiculous looking color, and I know people catch a lot of fish on them, it's got lead in the inside, so that probably won't do much for us. The Yamamoto's, we probably don't want to melt those. Ooh, look at these guys. Pumpkin with orange tail. It's funny because everyone watching this, there's going to be a bait for everyone that people are like, those are my favorite bait. I catch so many fish on those. 246 for these. You got to be kidding me, Cole. Little crappie guys. Look at that dumb thing. That would make like half of a soft plastic lure. Those are pretty dumb, Cole. Yeah, this color sucks. Let's get some. Dude, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. That's also power bait, though. I know. I don't know if we can melt that. Yeah, that's... Only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Throw her in the microwave. $1.96. That's a good deal. There's got to be some crappy stuff in there. That's an interesting See, color. this is the thing. Like, you guys probably can't even tell. I mean, shit, I'm going to get these, so I'm opening them right here. <laughs> we'll probably get kicked out of Walmart. For filming or opening the baits? Yes. Oh, see, this is the thing. This is what I was telling you yesterday. Pradco bought Jean LaRue. Yeah. So now we have Yum Jean LaRue Salt Cross. Wrecking another company. Good job, Pradco. Anyways, I can't stand that bait, but the color is good, which is important. So we're going to get those guys. Oh, shit, Cole. $1.25. Yeah. You found the juice. See, these aren't even that bad of baits. They're like brush hogs, but they're tiny. They probably don't have any good salt in them or anything. Flukes. Flukes, too. They're all good colors. I say we... We'll get some of these guys. Do they have like a whiter color? These guys. And we'll mix these in with the bright color selection over there. I missed it completely. And then we'll take some of these natural dudes, melt them down, and make some cooler natural baits. Here we go. We got some black and blue stick worms too. So these will make some good, some good looking bait guys. They're cheap. Okay, Cole. That's all that's important. Look at that big old bass on there. A big old bass. <laughs> Here we go. Berkeley Havoc, which actually I like Berkeley Havoc stuff. I never was a fan of this craw though. They call it the craw fatty. It was like my least favorite craw that I ever used, but it was cheap and it makes a lot of plastic. So we'll, we'll grab one of these guys too. We're spending a lot of money on plastics apparently, even though they're only $2. That's funny. These are going to make some interesting looking baits mm -hmm. and we're going to have some great smell too. The fish will hold on 18 times. Well, Maybe like six times longer, since that's only going to make up a third of the plastics in those. A little brute. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to transport to the lake unless we get a little brute. Here you go, Cole. You guys might not know this, but Cole actually doesn't take any of his fish off the hook. He's too scared, so he'll definitely need some gloves for the competition today. Oh, dude, here we go. $4.96. You guys were saying I need a new net. I found it. Let me do a practice run. Yeah! good it's nice and light we'll be getting this i just touched this and i did not like it but first off i've never seen some of these, these are, this is like a whole new selection of stuff that doesn't work for catfish we got cubes of cheese 644 too so i mean really that's cheaper than buying the store you could use this for your cheese tray at home cole and then look at this shit's blue it, it reminds me of 
Step Brothers when he goes, he makes him lick the dog turd and it's got the white on it. It's like that. Dude, 24 bucks? Wow. That's the least I've ever spent at a tackle shop. Thank you. Pretty terrible to me. All right, so here's the molds we're gonna be using. We got some flipping baits, I think, and we got some some worms and stuff. But we got this guy, which is a, a little bluegill bait. You guys asked me where I got my molds the last time. All these are do it molds, so I'll put a link to do it molds right down below. We got this flipping beaver guy. Should be a good dude, better than any of the baits we have here. Um, brush hog. So we have a bigger brush hog guy. I don't know why we're gonna take brush hogs and make them into another brush hog. Well, maybe we won't make that one. But we'll see. Um, this guy right here. 10 inch worm. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that, but hey, we got a 10 inch worm out. Yes, this one's we are. okay, we'll beautiful, great. <laughs> this one is the one I'm, I'm excited about. It's a brand new one. It's like a big ass production. This is like a $300 friggin' mold, but it's like a ringed seven inch worm. I think this could be really, really good. I wanna use this, so I'm just see if we can catch some fish on it. But first things first, we need to get these sorted into uh, piles that are the same or, or like colors. That way we're not doing anything too crazy with mixing the colors together and making them look like brown turds. So we got a pile of black and blue June bug style baits there. We got a pile of green pumpkin, watermelon red style natural baits there. And I'm most interested to see what these shitholes will turn out like. I think we're gonna do those last though because I don't know how that's gonna melt. That almost feels like it's like a silicone. It definitely does smell like power bait. We're gonna do those last to get these melted up. Basically we're gonna go throw them in there. And we throw them in the microwave. Boom. That's it? That's it. Boom. Safety precautions. If you're gonna do this well-ventilated area or a respirator, I think I told you that last time, these are very, very important as well. Definitely have an oven mitt. It smells good. Don't smell it, folks. That was a joke. All right, so we gotta get to about 300... <laughs> You gotta get to 350 degrees to pour. And that's why you need Timmy the heat gun. 300, it's going down by the second. 323 actually, so we'll just pop this in for like 30 more seconds. Stir them up and then we're gonna shoot them. Should we shoot some worms? Yes. Shoot some worms, some fat worms. Pretty good looking color. We got big blue fleck, little blue fleck, green. Give it a couple seconds. We're gonna open that up, and I, I really hope that worked out cool because that was a cool, cool color, cool, cool mold, cool, cool mold color. Okay, these guys are hot as balls. We'll stay away from those. Let's see how the worms turned out. They might have completely be food bar. We'll see. No disappointment here, Cole. No disappointment here, Cole. Look at those. Those are tight. I like those. Ding, 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 ding. It's like Christmas. Let's see how my flipping bait guys turned out. Dang it, it turned out perfect. Shoot. That looks good. And then we got three. Don't ask why we have three in one of those, but three of these little black and blue bluegill. That's still super hot in there. That felt great. Little bluegill guys, I like those. DD gill, they're called. The green pumpkin watermelon natural color we created, it's drying right now. That actually shot really well, but this is just, this is sketchy. Let's see how these guys even pour. I think, ooh, a little bit of grass in there will probably help too. But I think uh, this this is kind of made of like a more silicone material. Goodbye microwave, nice knowing you. At least we popped the eyeballs off, Cole. Mm -hmm. Didn't see any flashing in there. Microwave is broken, I don't think. Oh <laughs> Look at those guys. It's, a cool color. it's really not that stupid. It's pearly. got like some pretty cool shimmery pearl in there. Mm -hmm. Pearly chartreuse guy. Yep. Watch, it'll be the best color that's ever been created. Walmarts will be selling out across the country of those three separate baits. Just so people can make these cool. I guarantee there's a ton of people watching right now. Like, Chartreuse pepper is my favorite color. So we don't have enough plastic in there to shoot the worm. So instead of making more of the same baits, we're gonna throw 
some of these other colors in here. Cole said no black and it's his choice. This is what he has to use the whole time. So we're gonna use some natural colors. I'm probably gonna burn my hands. Okay, one piece of black. One black, he says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just totally wrecked the shot. I think we did it cool. It looks cool in there. Sweet. Oh, -ho! Slaw. I kind of like that guy. You cannot use them. No, I said I'm going to only use these. You cannot use said. them. <laughs> <laughs> Those turned out cool. They got some blue flake in there. Yeah, that shot really well. Deal. It's kind of a damn speed mission today. We're already on the way to the freaking lake. We got three different colors and three different bags right here, ready to go. Once we get to the the freaking creek that we're going to, which has been loaded with fish lately, we're gonna get one rigged up, and uh, we each brought one pole. So it's coleslaw and myself, and uh, I get the good chartreuse green color, and Cole just gets the bright chartreuse color. To make it fair. <laughs> All right, just got back down here to the creek. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some opening there and some water pouring in, but most of it's duckweed the whole way. We're basically going to be doing a lot of flipping. And so, Cole, which one are you going to pick? I was joking about Cole having to use the chartreuse one, even though it does look kind of cool. What do you want to use, homie? I know you were joking, but I think I am going to go with the... You going with a worm? Green pearl worm guy. Greenish worm pearl dude. Just because it looks good. That is going to catch fish. I'm going something black just to totally mix it up and be different. Yep. You're trying to catch them. I'm trying to actually catch something today. Yep. Correct. I'm going black flapping hog, dude. Guy. Today's cool pole is a 7.4 Zark rod. Beautiful. We both got the same Texas rig on, I think. Flipping yet. Peg Texas rig, quarter ounce weight. I'm using 7.2 extra heavy. I kind of wish I would have put a heavier weight on now, but I think this will suffice. Little four odd hook. Look at this guy. Watch out for him. Switching to a gill guy. Double digit gill. Oh, are you kidding me? Fing broke off. How? Damn it. I saw that guy come out and eat it. Well, that freaking sucked. Toss a little DD gill in there. Watched one come up and slurp it. Line with some to the side and. I don't know, just missed him, broke him right off, right on the hook set. Just tied that on too. Must have tied it on like an idiot, typical. Hopefully he's dumb enough to bite again or has a friend. Got him, get out of there. Oh no, he's stuck. Get out, bud. DD Gilfish. <laughs> Hey, look at that, Cole. This was a different lure about an hour ago. I believe this is a long-nosed crappie. Green, South Atlantic, long-nosed crappie. Biggest one I've ever seen. You kept that one right over here? No, it was further down the creek a ways. I wouldn't try over here. Hey, we caught a fish on our homemade baits. What do you know, guys? Got him. Big in. <laughs> I did it, Cole. Not even that big of one, but God, he looked big when he came up out of the water. These things are freaking eating some bluegills. Look at that little homemade bait down there. Dude, he freaking choked it. Healthy, healthy one. Ate it as I flipped it into the damn water right there. This has definitely been the deal today. The old DD Gill natural guy. Kind of cool, he flaps a lot. And um, this is my second fish on the same bait and hasn't torn up at all. So props to uh, Cole, what brand was this? I think it was all, all cream lures. Cream, cream. Props to you cream lures for making a durable plastic so I could destroy your baits and make my own out of them. Cole, are you even fishing? Yep. Is your bait in the water? <laughs> Cole, quit filming and catch something, Jesus. I feel like you just need to cover water and put it in front of one's face, something. And you have to have a better lure than what you're using. What did you just steal out of my backpack? Nothing. Cole, that better be a bright chartreuse. You can't look. <laughs> it's a secret one. I'll show everyone else, but you're looking at I it. I didn't dude. even see it. What did you put on? <laughs> the flappy tail guy. One flappy tail guy. The beaver tail. Beaver. You like beaver? Mm, not a fan. Stay away when it's green. I won't let your mom watch that part. Ripped one, Cole. Okay. Quit snagging. 
Rifle just switched over to his treble hook, bare treble hook with no plastic on it. Now he's got his, this is his favorite method. He actually dangled his treble over the edge of the log right there. Is that what you do? I see, I, I hear it whipping around back there when we're on the boat. I was wondering what your technique was. I never really looked around and seen you though, but. I got a fish. Yes, yes, Cole. I was yes. Right there, dude. You just snagged around right there with the treble? Ugh. Nothing, huh? Man, I guess this chalk one up uh, for lures. Lures is, is beating snagging. Now the fish is dead. Good job, Cole. You made me lose focus. Cole, you got one on? You got one! Cole refuses to be skunked. Reef uses. In all honesty, the bite has sucked balls today for the most part. Yes, it has. My hook was around. Just around <laughs> one. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if you're just going to sit there and rip, Cole, it's going to happen. Hey, at least you f***ing spooked them. There's no more in there. Trust <laughs> just give me. me shit, Cole. If I catch one there, it's going to be problems. I got one. Get out of there. One more tree. Yes. That guy was over 17 trees and we ripped him out of his little house. D.D. Gill shows no mercy. Thank you, Crim Lures that I wrecked. Another one. Watch this. Kobe. All right, guys, we caught a couple fish on baits that we just made like an hour ago in the creek. It was pretty cool. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the process. If you got a bunch of spare plastics laying around, I strongly suggest you do that instead of just throw them in the trash. But we're gonna wrap this video up doing something a little bit different like I told you guys. We're gonna read some comments from you guys that I thought was funny on one of the previous videos just the other day. This one's funny. It says, is it just me or has Cole been slaw chin? Do you get it, Cole? Oh, my man, Justin Royal here. If there's a swim jig bite, I'm gonna do it. He was quoting Zark. He said, same, felt that one in my soul. Screw lock for the win. Go check out Justin Royal. He's a good dude on the sixth staff and uh, catching fish, putting out videos almost every single day. Growing quickly too, he's a good dude. Remember when Ben had Zark singing for his outro? Cole, I want Zark singing in my outro so bad. The problem is we got copyright claims on every single video that I made for like two years because of that once YouTube changed their policy of what they were gonna crack down on, of course. Y'all are killing it, love my waterlands, a lot of good comments about the waterlands. <laughs> Eric Champion, I love this. He said, the lady that was in the dock said, how big was it? And he said, I'll show you after I win, lady. Truth, you're a freaking weirdo. Zark must have said that in the video. He did, of course he did. I don't watch the video, it's cool. i just let you edit them. Someone liked your engine shot at the beginning. Thought it was okay, at best. It wasn't bad. I'm just kidding, it was fire. I loved it. Fishing YouTuber that actually catches fish? Keep it up, bro. Thanks, Ivan, I appreciate you. Jesus, how many freaking comments? 329, and this was like 14 hours ago, 17 hours ago I put this out? This is crazy, it's gonna take forever to reply to these. This is why I can't reply to every single one of you guys. You guys are gonna have to stop commenting, basically is what I'm saying. I don't want you guys to all be MF for the day. Here's one I disagree with. Casey Painter says, love the channel, the content, everything just works for y'all, keep it up, and don't get rid of coleslaw. I can't agree with that. I give it a week, tops. All right guys, on to the next adventure. Coleslaw and I are heading to the store right now. We're actually gonna go buy some new fishing reels and then we're heading out to the lake and I have to go there went my phone. My phone's gone. It's dead. I have to fish against Cole apparently with the cheapest fishing reel in the store to even the score since he had to use chartreuse lures today. We got to go do that. But hopefully you like this one, MFers. If you liked this one, you want to see the next one, be sure, like I said at the beginning, go subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. It'll probably be out tomorrow. So catch you guys then. I'm out of here.